hey guys hope you are doing great uh, this is a channel update uh, just to tell you what I'm trying what is in what is going on in my head and uh, yeah so I've always wanted to make movies but uh, as you know movies are really really expensive to make so uh, that's actually the reason why I learned uh, I started learning blender and, and other 3d applications hoping that uh, since I can't afford making movies actual movies uh, then I could maybe make animated movies within a computer I just sit on your computer and then uh, start pushing out animated movies but uh, turns out that is also expensive way expensive sometimes even more expensive than uh, some movies uh, you need a, a big team uh, quite a big team to to create anything meaningful uh, with a 3d ap application especially if you're going to use an offline a renderer like cycles rendering just a single frame uh, with a uh, some good uh, uh, geometry and uh, good lighting and stuff you, you know what i'm talking about would take more than a mi minute for frame to render if you and usually an animated movie if if you're going for a full one one hour one hour and uh, 20 minutes that's that's going to take uh, almost a year using the kind of computers uh, most of most of us use so you have to invest in, uh, in into a render farm or um or expensive uh, gear, uh, is expensive graphics cards, and uh, yeah, an expensive rig basically. But uh, yeah, that is also something I can't afford really right now. And uh, even when you do that, you can't really make a full animated movie unless you have a team of of over uh, thirty people or fifteen people. It's really really expensive, and you're going to do it in a span of. Uh, you can't really do something good in just a month or two months or three months now imagine if you're paying a team of five people for five months uh, to do a project uh, without even knowing whether you're going to be able to make any money off of that it's really really not feasible uh, for someone in my position especially since we're just i'm just trying to figure out how this youtube thing works and how you can actually make money out of blender without first running your financial position because investing uh, the kind of money that is required to make a, 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 a sh an animation movie uh, is yeah you you probably be breaking your bank uh, to to do something like that so i'm going to approach this differently because i still want to make movies i still want to make animated movies uh, and movies real movies as well but uh, that is still way uh, way ahead and uh, beyond what i can afford right now so there is a guy on youtube called thin matrix i'm sure most of you have heard of him he's a game developer and uh, basically what he does he makes games video games and video games are, ev are even Hello, more and, back to my and video games are even way more expensive to make uh, than movies or animated movies because you have to figure out a lot of things and then you even have to do programming you have to do everything you have to do for an animated a movie you have to make the characters you have to rig them you have to animate them and then program the entire environment uh, so it's, it's it's way more expensive and that if you're going to use different applications uh, so say if you're going to use a different engine if you're going to pay a license for that that can also add up to the cost so it's way more expensive to make games uh, than even to make animated movies i also wanted to make video games but i saw it was also not feasible for me uh exactly right right now in my position so but this guy uh thin matrix i'm, I'm going to leave a link in this in the description if you want to subscribe to him he, he makes video games and uh, he also sells them i think on street on steam let me see if some of the yeah you can see he made this game called uh equinox Equilinox, sorry, Equilinox, where it's just a, um, how is it, evolution kind of game. But uh, you can just go to this channel and watch the entire thing. What I wanted to talk about is that he's a single guy who, not not single like a single, but uh, he's one person making a video game. So, and uh, the way he approaches it, he tries to be as efficient as he can. Uh, only uh, taking on battles, he knows he will win. So instead of making a fully rigged, uh, fully uh kind of trying to go for a realistic approach he he goes for low polygon 
a locally a, a locally look uh, you don't he doesn't even rig anything uh, if he wants to animate a character moving he just scripts some he just programs it to have a have a behavior that looks like uh, the character is being let me just move ahead a few seconds just you can see the kind of the kind of models he's using and um, by the way he also uses blender for making these models but uh, he He's also a developer, so he makes his own game engine. He's not using any other any, any game engine like uh, Unity or Unreal. He's just making his own game engine and then uh, creating the... He's really crazy with his stuff. Yeah, so he's able to make these games because he, because of the way he's approaching his projects. Uh, his, you can see no fancy materials, very simple, very simple shapes very minimum lighting no lighting actually it's just flat shading you can see the kind of characters he's using here no arms no what and uh he's the way he animates them he just makes them also a bit are uh, using uh, programming to do that uh, so this is his approach of making video games but as i said i don't want to go into making video games i want to make uh, to make stories uh, or mo make movies uh, I want to start small, so the way I'm going to approach it is uh, basically the same way, and uh, I'm just going to straight up. I'll, I'll, I'll be straight with you. Rip off his uh, look, his uh, approach. So he makes game games, but uh, as I said, I'm not going to make games. I'm going to be making short animated movies. I'm, I'm just straight up going to rip his uh, yeah his uh, look, his uh, yeah character look, and uh, just be as simple and minimum as possible uh, because i have a lot of stories in my head that i want to produce but uh, if i want to, but if i wait to get a large enough budget to hire people and uh, start making stories it will take me way 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 more time and uh, this is also a way to make sure that uh, my concepts or my stories are good enough to 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 justify the investment of such kind of money uh, so this is like a proof of concept. I want to make very simple stories, uh, approaching the projects, short movies, like he does approach his games. Instead of making complicated scenes, uh, because th that I can do, but uh, you can see the things we have been able to do uh, in live streams and uh, the projects we have done, uh, like this scene here, where we made the this apocalypse a scene Let me just give it a moment to, to play back here I think I have the let me just get the yeah this one here the only reason we are, I was able to make this in uh, two hours uh, because I remember I made it on a live stream. It, it was actually more than two hours because I did it in two days. But uh, the only reason I was able to make this in that short time is because I didn't make all of the things, uh, especially the car, which was the sent the main project, the main object in our scene in this short movie. Uh, it was because I wasn't I didn't make that asset. But uh, if I was if I had to make that from scratch, it would take me way way more time to do. And uh, you can see the reason a story here it's a very very simple 0 0.25 seconds 27 seconds uh, uh of a sequence so it's not a story it's not a word so if you wanted to make th something out of this uh maybe a two hour sorry uh maybe a two minutes uh videos sequence of this it would take me weeks if i wanted to get it to the same quality uh like we like i did with this one here uh, so i'm not going to do that i'll continue making things like this on this channel but I've created a new channel called uh, stories with blender and I'm going to be creating simple stories with simple characters uh, like this and uh, maybe my voiceover just to tell a story like that uh, stories that I have in my head so if you want to join me on the journey and see how we can do that uh, we're going to be experimenting a lot again all my other channels are going to, are going to be I'm going to still be they're going to, i'll still be posting on onto them uh, but i just want to see 
how much you can achieve with this style of this style of uh, animation uh, not being too ambitious just getting things done at the cost of uh, whatever looks you whatever yeah yeah so that's the channel update I'm co I'll continue making this kind of high quality or high uh, or kind of trying to, trying to go for a more realistic movie like scene I like this on this channel here and also upload the time lapses on uh, blender money but I'll also be doing simple stuff like this so that I can get so that I can visualize other stories I have in my head otherwise if you don't do that you will always think that uh, you have really good stories until you start uh, and uh, if no one is really hearing your stories or you will never really tell if they are good enough and uh, you always try to be too ambitious if you don't try anything and uh, one of the things uh, because I'm also I'm also into uh, the entrepreneur uh, end of things uh, like uh, I, I go to a lot of meetups and uh, usually to tell whether someone is good at what they do or what they're claiming to, to do because you get a lot of uh, startup gurus are uh, telling you about what you should do what you what, what you should not do and uh, and the way i filter out person who knows what they're talking about and person who doesn't know what they're talking about is usually someone who doesn't know what they're talking about or who never really practices what they preach is usually the kind of person who has a lot of ideas who has a lot of good ideas people who have a lot of good ideas tend to non practice the ideas they have that's the only way you would have a lot of good ideas otherwise if you had any good ideas and you practice them you realize a lot of things you didn't see so for example uh, if you have an idea of a good movie uh, you want to make and you have this story uh, you your, your ideas will still be too great too ambitious will be very ambitious and they will sound really great until you start working on the project until you attempt um, working on that specific movie or whatever you're trying to do or business you're trying to do and you start to see uh, the difficulties that you are facing uh, on your project so for example if you're trying to make a movie you realize that uh, it's really really expensive uh, for to shoot just a specific scene you had in mind and that uh, you have to tweak it and uh, take some things out uh, so that it's feasible to make uh, you also realize that uh, it's more difficult to set up than you than you thought it was so then you start to think of all the other ideas you you had come up with that you thought were good ideas and you start to see how non-feasible they are that's why i see that uh, when someone has a lot of ideas good ideas it's usually because they don't put them in practice they never really go out and test them out to see if they can really do them because if you start to work on your ideas put them in practice you start to hit these barriers and now you become more cautious or you take more precaution of the kind of ideas you, you come up with uh, every time you come up with a new idea you remember uh, what failed on the other ones you had uh, so you you start to be very careful with kind of, so you start to limit the kind of ideas you have ending up with less ideas so people always i think it's this is my opinion so i could be totally wrong and uh, maybe speaking out of my yeah whatever but uh yeah Anyway, I want. Uh, I think I'm repeating myself too much, but uh, that's it. Uh, we're going to be trying this approach and see how what we can achieve. You can see these are uh, lots of people, lot of, lots of characters, but because they're very low polygon, uh, like characters, he's able to uh, populate millions in this tiny scene, and uh, we can also do the same in Blender as well. So that's. The channel update uh if you want to subscribe to that new channel you can go over there i'm going to be uh, working on small short movies like that and uh, small episodes like that i have an already a good idea concept in mind uh to approach this so yeah thank you